So lovely to meet you then once again. <laughs> be, care be careful what you say now, you're a record. <laughs> so, who are you then? <laughs> no, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. So, do you want to um, do you want to buzz through those designs quick? They're brilliant, by the way. I love them. But being oh, the, thank you so much. Being the perfectionist is just a couple of little tweaks to get them. Yeah, I totally I feel you. I'm always the same, and I I would feel like bad if something is like. Like I, I have a vision yeah. how to do that and, and, and it's like not fitting and I don't have the like control over the situation. Uh, that's frustrating, I know. So no, it's not I, that. I would like to help you with that. It's not that. It's just that um, I don't use PowerPoint for a start. So if it's easier for you to just do it. But if what it is, is I want it the way that I want it, because when I commit to it, it's, that's the way it's going to be for the future. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I don't want there to be a little um, something out of place or something too high. And then yeah, and then it will always it. remind you about yeah, that. Bug me for the rest of my life. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so if we can just like, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if we can just like get those tweaks. Yeah. More or less how I want them. That would be brilliant, mate. And then you can navigate me. Yeah, there's no how pressure. So let me just um, see if I can pull the pictures up and you tell me if you can see them, yeah? Yeah, I'm, or we can do it vice versa because I am in uh, PowerPoint now. So I can just share my screen and you can see uh, and navigate me, like what to change. Okay, try that. And I can just send it to you afterwards. Don't tell me you've been working on this all day long. No. <laughs> But I, I spent like much time on it, actually. I, I wanted it to be like uh, um, good. I, I'm also trying to be a perfectionist in, in that sense. Yeah, good. So you're earning, earning your discount then. <laughs> right. Ah, did, I hope did. it's really mutually beneficial. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how it uh, comes up on the mobile phone. No, so it I should... looks good. Okay. It looks good, mate. So... Now we have the five uh, different brands up and uh, so we are on the first one in the personal development. So you yeah. you said we could, we could like still play a bit with the font. So your suggestion was to try with the uh, Times New Roman. So let's try to change that. I'm having like different layers here. So I'm just changing it to Times New Roman and let's see what comes up from that. Do you see when I'm editing it? Yep. Okay. Cool. So I'm just putting them to the same font size. It shouldn't be smaller, I think, because it's uh, like now the size are actually like um, kind of matching the main logo. Uh, it's also put in the middle properly. It has a thin like um, white line around the, the black. Uh, yeah. In, in the top. What do you think about it? Like, uh, I, what I could do with this is I either like remove that, or I don't need the outline around it. Could you try it with uh, lowercase? Yes. With the capital P and the capital D. And then, no, and then stretch it up a bit. Match it. Yeah, so it's a bit matches the size. Mm. No, I think you're right. Capitals is better. <coughs> yeah, I think so. It's for for such a small, uh, like large amount of text, it I will be know. easier to I digest. Quite like quite like that. So leave it like that for a minute. See, see the vision on the top. One second, I just remove the language. <laughs> it's set to Hungarian. That's better now. I can understand you. Yeah. <laughs> so 
just nudge the development right a bit. To the right, back. There, there, there. That's it. Perfect. So yeah, no, actually, I quite like it with lowercase. Yeah, it it actually feels more like a flow. Yeah, that's good. Does the yeah, vision need nice. to? Does the vision need to be any bigger? Do you think? Or should we leave it, it like that? Could be, but uh, we can also experiment with a, a bigger one. Just uh, yeah, select the vision. Just nudge that right a little bit, can you? To the right. Yeah. Oh. It's yeah. To the end, like this? No, not so far. Back a bit. A bit more. Out there, there. Like that. I like that. Oh yeah, here it's nicer when when the V and the N flows in one yeah. line. Just try try it a little bit bigger, and then if it's if it works, you'll have to do it with the others as well. But sorry about that. And then back it up a bit. Line the the tail of the N up with the dot on the R. Like here now we are in the same line. You mean? But at the end, line that up with the dot on the end of the R. Just no, no, no. Nudge the other way. The other side. There, 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 there. Back, oh, back you mean there. here in the end? Yeah. To be in one line. Back a little bit. Back one pixel, the other way. You mean to the left? Uh, yep. A bit more. That'll do. What do you reckon about that? Let me check. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just as aesthetically pleasing, that's all. Yeah. What do you think about that? That looks good to me, mate. Yeah, it looks nicer, I would say. Yeah, I'll give that a tick. That's approved. Good. We can we can keep this one. Like I can I can change the vision in the other ones. Yep. I that one just... I like. I like that one. Just yeah, just ch change the vision so it looks like the other ones. Yeah, the same way. How's that? Oh, let me put it back. You skipped ahead a step. Yeah. So, so now. Just, so that one, I'm happy with that one. Yeah. So so now the personal development looks nice, I think. Yep. Yep. I'm happy with that. Awesome. I'm what about the that. press? This one is yep. nice, I think, as well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Lovely. Right. Now, this one. See the photography. This is what this is what my idea was, right? I raise, generally like the overlapping for them. Yeah, raise the photography a little bit and make it a little bit bigger. Right, so go move it back up there. Now move the photography up a little bit. Yeah, like that. Yeah, here. Yeah. Perfect. What do you think of that? It's got to say photography with a Y on the end. Yeah, it's much nicer now. Like cr crossing uh, on, on each of these peaks. Oh. It's got to have a Y on the we end. Cut it down, sorry. <laughs> we have the Y here. There you go. So you can, um, I, like, I like that. I like the Y sticking out a bit. That's OK, actually. Yeah, play? I think it's fine with this size. It's actually matching it. Yeah, if you resize it, the um, the H is going to cross into the R, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly so going it's just... there, but it, it's going to overlap too much. I think this is nice that it's just catching the the tip of the R. Would you like me to resize it to smaller one to check? You can try. Tell you what, move it to the right so that the H, the second H, lines up with the tail of the E. In the smaller version. Yeah, just try and move it along. Now the other way. Back a bit. There. No, the previous one was nicer, I think, when it like yeah mostly go over. Back a, go back a step. And use this the big one. one. Yeah, that that one. I like that. Yeah, this is yeah. the nicest. Yeah, I accept that. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank okay, you. Lovely. That's brilliant.
Okay, what about the Oriental? Can we have the blue droplet ripples black? These as well. Yeah, I can yeah. take I can take it from this one and try. Yeah, I think it's enough. Uh, it looks in this case. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm in the vintage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Still, I think it it looks nice. Did you resize the vision on that one? Yes, it's resized on all of them. Okay, yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah. Yep. And then we have the vintage. This is the last one, isn't it? Yeah. So this, is this one, I need the, the yellow to be more outstanding. So what I was going to suggest was, can you emboss the characters on, on um, PowerPoint? Um, do you know what emboss yeah, I think so. I can like make it, I think I can, I can make some depth into it like this. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Can you put, um, can you make it more, a little bit more orangey? Yeah. Mm. It's got sort of a pastel yellow and it doesn't really, it's not leaping out at me. Bit more, bit darker. Try that. Mm. Or maybe we can shift it a bit towards uh, brown. That is also That's color of, of vintage. What I'm, what I'm thinking is, you know, like a gold ring. If you if you could see the reflections on a gold ring, so it would be like goldy color, but it would have have like an embossed effect, where the outlines would be a bit lighter, and then you'd have the drop shadow and. I don't know if that's possible. I could do it in Photoshop, but let me try uh, the gold color. I'm trying to check it on the internet. It'll be kind of a yellow with a slight amount of orange in it, won't it? Yeah. It's very difficult to match exact colors, isn't it? Yeah, like especially with gold. Yeah, if it's just yellow, there's not enough contrast with the white background. So you might have to put like a black outline around the letters or something like that. This one's supposed to be the gold. Uh, yeah, that's good. Can you make the drop shadow a bit darker? Yes. Probably with the opacity, is it, or the, the colour of the shadow? Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the maximum I can I can put, but let me check. So I like it. I, I don't... I like it subtle anyway, so. I can make it a bit stronger with this one. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's perfect. Yeah, this looks really lovely, I think. See how it makes it kind of three dimensional? Yeah, and it uh, like uh, comes out like yeah. really like a gold color. Uh, yep. Uh, in like not like an embroiderment, but like uh, embossed, uh, we call it. Yeah. <laughs> so the rings need to be black again. Okay. Yeah, maybe the blue is a bit too much. Yeah, with the yellow. Yeah, it's cleaner. Yeah. yeah. Right. So the vintage font, I'm not really hundred percent on that, to be honest. Have you got any other? There's a font, right? I don't know if you've got it in PowerPoint. It's called. Trajan or Trojan Pro. Trajan Trojan. or Trojan, and it's it's all capitals, but it's almost like it's not quite stamped on, but it's almost like old Roman numerals. Trajan Pro or Trojan Pro? I do not have it. It doesn't come up. Okay. Trade go. No. Can you just um, go through a few and see if you can find a nice one? Yeah, I'm trying to find something. Would you like something similar, like a bit vintage? Mm, maybe. Let, let me let me just take this for a second. Uh, have, have you got one that's like a stencil? You know, it looks like it's been sprayed on with a stencil. Yeah, I will check in a sec. I just put it to the side. I can open this and we can see better. Okay. What's that like? 
What do you think of that? Does that look untidy on your end? I quite this like one it. looks like uh, Victorian yeah, from the Victorian like, era. I quite like that. What do you think? Yeah, this is this is expressive too. I like it as well. It's it's more characteristic than the previous one, I would say. Looks like almost like it's got ivy growing on it. Yeah, I can keep this one for now. We can just scroll down a little bit more. Okay. If something comes up. <coughs> yep. You like me? You gotta check them all. <laughs> yeah, you, like. In case you miss one. Yeah, like let, let's not miss out anything. Like this one is quite nice, I would say. This look quite similar. This is what I used. That's a bit stencily. That one. Go back. Uh, there. There. Did I lose that it? One. Go this slowly. One. Go slowly, and I'll say. <laughs> it's up. It's up. I think. Okay, I will go slowly. That one. This? Yeah. I think the Victorian one is much more yeah. expressive. I don't know. I like them both. Which one? Which one? Should we? Uh... Well, we could have a vote on it, but it would be a 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to the old Victorian one again. Okay, let me put them next to each other. <laughs> this is so much fun. Technology is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Also, I like the name Bierstadt. Sounds German. Not this one. That one, wasn't it? This one. I don't know, really. I like them both. What do you reckon? Hmm. Yeah, I think. Um, Actually, it's yeah. it's much easier to read the 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 one on the left, the the thicker uh, letters, in my opinion. Yeah. Are they both black? Yeah. Because the one on the right appears grey on my screen. Well, it doesn't really matter because um, I could change fonts and and adjust anything I need to in Photoshop anyway. To be honest. Yeah, definitely. So let's it's go just... for let's let's go for the one on the right for now because I'm going to. With the Victorian. At, yeah, I'm going to look at that on a bigger screen and see how I feel about it. Okay, lovely. I quite like that because I could um, probably get some like ivy or some vines or something and then intertwine it around the letters yes i think so like if, if you can even specify it a bit further customize it it's going to i can do uh, i can do wizardry in photoshop yeah i can i can select black things and white backgrounds easy and then just cut the things out and no problem you know we have some conclusion lovely yeah it looks good mate i like it yeah, Excellent. me too. It was much so, easier to do it in this way. <laughs> yeah, we'd have been there for days sending the text <laughs> back so. and forwards, wouldn't we? Left a bit, <laughs> right a bit, up a bit, down a bit. <laughs> yeah, but I'm happy that you are also satisfied, really. So that's five, five out of five, mate. Lovely. So, so that, then it's going to be time that I will just uh, play with the intro video a bit. And I'm, go I'm trying to, like, so what I'm going to try then is uh, go with your idea and uh, have these five logos uh, come up uh, after one another, S same like stamps. And after they like pump, pump, come to the, to the picture, then the di diagonally the soil stamp come up. I could suggest something, but I don't want to overcomplicate it for you. Um, you could, you could do like have them the names coming down the screen, or like stepping across, and then you could have them like scrunch into the middle, and then expand out the logos. And then you could put a sold thing across the middle, the vintage one or something like that. 
you mean that first it's only the text version of each brand that comes up yeah, yeah. and then they merge and yeah. then they again come up but like the five logo yeah but the, the five front. logos would be like spread out in a circle like one two three four five mm. so so it'll, the names will go across and then they'll go like and then the logos will appear and then yeah, in the middle in the middle you just put a big sold stamp I see. So you, it will be like a pentag pentagon or like yeah, a pen, yeah. pen, pen, this pentagon geometrical form. Yeah. What do you mm. think? I'll try. Yeah, I'll yeah. See what I, I will see what I can do. <laughs> if you can't, if you can't do that, do the next best one. Okay. No, no pressure, mate. You take your time. I'll see you back here same time tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will provide you some draft by that time. So. Um, no, I'm joking, mate. Take take a week or a month. I don't mind. Whatever you're comfortable with. Just take I'm time. enjoying it. I like creating. Uh, I I like conveying messages in a way that it really uh, it can be felt by the person. And I think uh, like it, even if it's like small uh, steps that we've done, like but but it still made a big improvement. All in all, in in the quality, in in like where the first logo came up, and then where we are now, um, I think this is like a beautiful, like how uh, feelings can be conveyed with uh, with like such a relatively simple, like visual uh, appearance. Well, the first logo I just did with um, it was basically Times New Rome New Roman font lowercase so i just put, wrote inner bit inner mm. and envision a bit smaller on top and it just said inner vision originally and then i i thought i oh, will put um you know i'd like radio waves was what i thought radio waves coming out from the yeah. eye so it's like beaming out in a vision and i couldn't find decent radio waves so i made one out of a water droplet and it was an actual photo water dropping into a pond oh. and the ripples so i actually made it from an actual yeah. photo <laughs> in photoshop and that was that was just my logo it just said inner vision with the water drop and then of course i started publishing books and then i had inner vision press and i just played around with it i liked it black and white with inner vision photography and i just keep like the oriental thing right i'll tell you how it came about I was in a Japanese group on Facebook and I was so enthusiastic answering people's questions and stuff like that. They banned me from the group. <laughs> so I not, well, they didn't ban me. They wrote to me and said, you know, you, you can't evaluate items because it's not a commercial group. And it was basically, it was because I was in there every day thoroughly enjoying myself. Like, yeah. <laughs> me. So I got so annoyed with it. I started my own group. And that's how it started. And it, and I was getting 40 people joining a day. Wow. And m neither me or the admins could keep up with it. So I had to change the name to get it out of the search results. Because if you put in uh, antique Chinese and Japanese identification, mine came up first and everyone was joining it. Mm. Right. And it wasn't, a, it's not a commercial venture. So I'm not like, I don't need. 50, 100,000 sign up. So, you know, it's a small group, friendly yeah. group. People need help, we help them, that's it. So, um, so I changed the name from Chinese and Japanese antiques identification to InnerVision Oriental. And overnight, the sign ups went down to about two a day, and I can handle that. Wow. So, you can still find it, but only we've got really good quality clientele now, you know. That's really cool. So now your group is called Inner Vision Oriental on Facebook. Yep. Yep. And uh, we've got we're approaching a thousand members now, and it's just it's just ticking over nicely, you know. Really cool. Then you're going to have a thousand and one because I'm going to join now. Yeah, you go <laughs> for it, mate. <laughs> and if, when you get your vase, post a picture of it in there. Oh, definitely. Okay. 
say I've just picked up this Kasubi Yaichi for 100 quid. What do you reckon? <laughs> See how many hearts you get. Right. Yeah. Brilliant. So, it is. You are like I. I'm so glad that you are such an open-minded person. Well, when when we finish with this, everyone on my YouTube is going to know who you are. Because <laughs> I'll show uh, if this works out right. I shall edit edit this and put put a little bit of this up as well. And I'll do a, I'll do um, a little short, a little video short with my logos, just one after the other. The exact same size so that they will blend in perfectly. Do like a 10 second, just my logos blending in and make a little video. My new logos made by Roland. Here's his, here's his website. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So yeah, I've got I've got about forty or fifty unlisted videos on YouTube now. Oh wow! But I'm you're, so busy. You're preparing ahead then. Yeah, I'm so busy. I just can't publish a video a day because the energy it creates messes me up. <laughs> so I just publishing like what one or two a week. But the good thing is when I get home, I won't need to spend a lot of time making videos. See. But this is an awesome habit if you have, like uh, uh, considering that still like uh, the number of people who are accessing the internet is actually like exponentially growing. Um, I think this is like uh, exactly the right time to do that. That's why that's why I'm also considering it. Like now, you know, like uh, uh, population of the world is still increasing, uh, at least with one and a half or two uh, billion people. and. Uh, still like the internet penetration is around like if i remember well 50 to 60 percent for the whole population now like huge regions of from india is joining in like uh, still you know with the in initiatives from elon musk with the with the satellite and network to to distribute wi-fi and all that is still like uh, being prepared um, this is at the time when uh, uh, even though that uh, Okay, the the whole population is going to increase with like twenty percent, but the the in, the users on the internet is going to double or triple in the coming uh, five to ten years with all these uh, like endeavors combined together. So uh, like right now, whatever we are publishing is going to have like two hundred to three hundred percent increase in the view in, in in the amount of view at least in the in the coming period. So. After and, and after that, you know, when everyone is going to access first in the first period, they are going, going to uh, watch everything, like harness all this information. And after some time in like 10 to 15 years, when uh, everyone will get enough information, then we'll, they will start generating all the noise. And after that, it will be that saturation point when when we are over this peak time. And, and I, I assume that whoever comes up afterwards to to be such a like online influencer or whatever that's going to be too late but right now it is the right time to publish anything well so. we're not we're not greedy are we, we if only 10% 10% of the world population subscribes to my youtube <laughs> and we're not greedy we only want 10% yeah but yeah, I agree with you. So, do you want to see my roller skates? Oh yeah, please show me. I didn't reply to that one, but I think this is so awesome. <laughs> I'll send you send you a video. Yeah, show me. I've already already tried them on and skated around the house a few times. <laughs> This is really cool. How much do you think they cost? You got it on, from eBay? Yep. Oh. Mm. This is the break. This is good quality. And is it the same Salomon that's uh, uh, creating hiking shoes? 
and uh, these water repellent Gore-Tex membrane shoes because that's really like uh, expensive one in that case. Well, brand brand new. They're about 150 pounds. I could imagine something like that, but so you could get it maybe for like 50 to 70. Yeah, Sec used used good good used ones are like like 80 pounds. That's really good. How much do you think I got these for? Also, it was lower than 50. <laughs> yeah. Considering the luck you are having uh, most of the time, you, you got it for like 20? 17. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. That's not, that's not luck, mate. That's, I've learned how to do that. <laughs> that's not luck. I, I know which auctions to look for, how to, how to, how to bid on it to get the lowest possible price. That's skills, mate. You learn those from doing it okay. for years. I'm not fighting with that. I can imagine, like, uh, after some experience. <laughs> that wasn't luck either, mate. I watched that for months. That's really beautiful. Right. See my mug, look. That's my other logo. Oh, lovely. We can work on that one day, maybe. My Matt logo. I've got Matt merch. Wow, T-shirts, cool. T-shirts, hats, hoodies. Do you have a mer merchandising site? Yeah, cafe, you know, on cafepress.com. Cafepress.com. Yeah, I'll send you the URL and you can go and have a look. Yeah, please do so. I haven't seen it yet. Because that was, um, it's just, a, just wrote my signature on a bit of paper with a blue marker pen and then scanned it and then um, mm. cleaned it up and I can just, Print that onto anything now. Had that for about 20 years. That mug. Matt mug. <laughs> That's going to burst a lot later on. If it lives that long, yeah. <laughs> Once it becomes an antique. Yeah, it's been in a few videos. I should look after it, shouldn't I? Really? <laughs> the original one. Yeah. Right, mate. I've got to go. I've got to go and um, I've got last night's Thai, Thai green curry to finish off. <laughs> and I'm That's starting... really awesome. I, I love Thai curry. Yeah, I do. The red one as well. Yeah. Brilliant. All right, mate. If, if you were here, I'd give you a fist bump. Yeah. Or an elbow. Likewise. <laughs> right, okay, man. So see you later then. Let's yeah. do some more magic. I'm very satisfied with what we have come up with now. So, right, get yeah, get back to me when when you've got some magic going on with the logo. <laughs> Definitely will. With the intro. So enjoy your night then. All right, I'll just stop recording and then I'll say see you later. Okay.